Justin Simple Man, original version. Do away with the twin, my mate, twin of a man, my you would do twelve. I'm gonna do my challenge with you now. I'm a very thin at all about your own religion. I'm a young man, my you would do twelve. I'm gonna do my challenge with you now. La <muchas> Oh, yeah, Mario, I'm going to be a little bit of 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 a
Ndo walivyo Ukikosea jambo Hawawezi kukuwambea Ukijaribi Wana isi umetenda dhambi Wanadamo kumbe ndivyo walivyo Ukikosea jambo Hawawezi kukuwambea Ukijaribi Wana isi umetenda dhambi
please stand.
What a wonderful entrance. Please, ladies and gentlemen, can you please be seated? We gather together here this morning to celebrate the marriage of David and Betty. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all evermore. We have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of David and Betty and to ask God's blessing on them as we share their joy. Marriage is a gift of God our Creator. It is a symbol of God's unending love for His people and of the union between Christ and His Church. Christ loved His bride, the Church, and gave Himself for her. As He has called David and Betty to marriage, so He draws their different gifts and hopes into unity of love and service. Scripture teaches that marriage is a long, a long life partnership, uniting a woman and a man in heart, mind and body, in the joy of their union, husband and wife, enrich and respond to each other, growing in tenderness and understanding. Through marriage, a new family is formed, where children are born and grow in secure and loving care. Marriage is therefore to be honoured by all. No one should enter it lightly or selfishly, but responsible and joyful, with mutual respect and a promise to be faithful. So let us pray with David and Betty as they prepare to exchange their solemn vows. Blessed are you, loving God. Your Spirit binds us together. Crown our lives with your goodness. Sustain us all days with your love. Bless David and Betty with wisdom and pleasure. Be their friend and companion in, you, uh, in joy, their comfort in need and sorrow. And when this life is ended, welcome them into your presence. There with all your people to praise your holy name. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated, ladies and gentlemen. Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper as his partner. So out of the ground the Lord God formed every animal of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to the man to see what he would do. And whatever the man called every living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all cattle and to the birds and to every animal of the field. But for the man there was not found a helper as his partner. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man and he slept. Then he took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. And the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to man, to the man. Then the man said, This at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman. For out of man this one was taken. Therefore a man leaves his father and his mother and clings to his wife, and they become one flesh. And the man and his wife were both naked. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord. I'm going to read to you from the first book of Corinthians, chapter 13. And it talks to us about the true meaning of love and what love is. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have 
prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge. And if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends, but as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now, we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope, and love abide. These three, and the greatest of these is love. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of all our hearts be acceptable to you, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. We gathered with you today, David and Betty, to celebrate a beginning. You start before God and before all these people the celebration of your life together as husband and wife. Today you declare your love for each other before God and all these people. Today you commit all of yourselves to each other for all time. It's a good beginning. It's a good start. Your day before God in worship. Asking God's blessings in your life together. And praising God for all the goodness God has given you. To make this declaration of love. Here today is to recognize that it is a very serious, a very serious declaration you are making this morning. As Genesis 2 said, Therefore a man leaves his father and mother and cling to his wife. And they become one flesh. Today you begin a union by God with promises made before God. In 1 Corinthians 13 as has been read, It's a good text to set before yourself for this beginning. It sets out clearly what love is and what is love is not. It is important to have such a definition clearly in your mind as you begin. This blueprint, this blueprint can be a guide for those days down the road when you feel anything but love for one another. And if it's and everybody think I know what I'm talking about. There is sometimes in your marriage, you just don't like that person, but you have to love them. That is love that goes alive with passion. Goes alive with passion. A passion, passionate love that made God willing to pursue us. Not willing to give up on us, no matter how much we run away from God. He's pursuing us every day. Such a passionate love is a love given by God that has the strength and courage 
to work through difficult times in your life. This is not a drippy love of romance novels or televisions where people abandon one another when the going gets tough or someone flashy comes around, someone beautiful. Such love requires work. This love requires work. A man must leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife. It is hard work for a groom or a bride to break all ties and establish a new set of priorities and commitments. Everything else must come second to marriage. If I have everything but not love, I have nothing. Such a love requires work especially in those times when you really don't like each other very much. Such love comes from God. This love is deep and lasting, one of trust and commitment. It is a love that requires us to open and be vulnerable to our partners. Ready to walk into unfamiliar territories together. It's a love of confession and forgiveness. One willing to admit you are wrong. And to accept the admission of the others with grace. It's a love that might require you to bite your tongue once in a while. To consider words. And actions first. It's a love of trust and loyalty. So what is this love we set before you today? Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on one's way, on its own way. It's not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but requires truth. It bears all things, endures all things, hopes all things, love never ends. Sounds tough. Actually impossible. If you try to do it on your own. This love you set before yourself today as your daily ideal is a love that can be achieved only as a gift from God. Only as a gift from God. A love that can and will show down or shall shower down on you as you seek to love in God's love. It's a passionate love. Passion for each other. Passion for life and a passion for God. I would leave you with an invitation to allow the love of God to create in your married life such a passion. A passion that gives you the courage to, be, to create a beautiful and God-filled marriage. A passion that allows you to bring the best out of yourselves in this marriage. Create a marriage given life to you and to those around you. May your marriage always have within it passion for God. The one who gives us the ability to love and to work at love. Stay close to God because God is the source of His power and love. You have begun well today. May you continue in your marriage with the words of 1 Corinthians 13 ever before you. May God bless, bless your beginnings today and may God bless your life together. Giving you the passion and courage to continue what you have begun so well today. David, will you give yourself to Betty to be a husband? To live with according to God's word? Will you love her? Comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsake all others, be faithful to her, 
So long as you both shall live, I will. Betty, will you give yourself to David to be his wife, to live with him according to God's word? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and protect him, and forsake all others? Be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Amen. Family and friends, you are witnesses to these vows. Will you do everything in your power to uphold Bet David and Betty in their marriage? We will. Thank you very much. I, David. I, David. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. Take you, Betty. Take you, Betty. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day. From this day. Forward. Forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poorer. For poorer. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. And to cherish. And to cherish. So long. So long. As we. As we. Both shall live. Both shall live. All this. All this. I vow. I vow. And promise. And promise. I Betty. I Betty. In the presence. In the presence. Of God. Of God. Take you, take you, David, David, to be my husband, to be my husband, to have, to have, and to hold, to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for better, for worse, for worse, for richer, for richer, for poorer, for poorer, in sickness, in sickness, and in health, and in health, to love, to love, and to cherish, and to cherish. So long, so long as we, and we both shall, both shall live. live. All, this All this I vow, I vow and, promise. and promise. God of steadfast love, by your blessing, let these rings be for David and Betty a symbol of their love and faithfulness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. With all that I am. With all this I am. And all that I have. And all I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of God. In the name of God. Amen. Amen. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol, as a symbol of our marriage. Of our marriage with all that I am, I, I, I am and all that I have. I, all that I have. I honor you, I honor you in the name of God. For the name of God. Amen. Amen. Before God and all the persons of us of us all. David and Betty have joined hands and made their solemn vows, promising lifelong faithfulness to each other. In the name of God, I declare them to be a husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no one separate. They make peace to God. So I want David and Betty and 
Bosworth. Bosworth. And that's right. Suzanne. Would you come forward to sign the register? <laughs>
God of all grace, friend and companion, looking in favour on David and Betty, and all who are made one in marriage, in your love deepen their love, strengthen their wills, to keep the promise that they have made, that they may continue in lifelong faithfulness to each other, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Faithful God, giver of all good things, give David and Betty wisdom and devotion in the order, or, or ordering of their life together. May they well dwell together in love and peace all the days of their life, seeking one another's welfare, bearing one another's burdens, and sharing one another's joys through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God, without your grace nothing is strong, nothing is sure. Strengthen David and Betty with patience, kindness, gentleness, and all other gifts of the Holy Spirit, so that they may fulfill the vows that they have made this morning. Keep them faithful to one another. Fill them with such love and joy that they may build a home of peace and welcome. Make their life together a sign of Christ's love in this broken world. That unity may overcome estrangement. Forgiveness hail guilt, and joy conquers despair, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we will say the Lord's Prayer, but please say the Lord's Prayer in your language. I will say it in my language, and you say the Lord's Prayer in your language. Let's start. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The English language is a bit longer. David and Betty, can you come stand in front of me, please? May the God of steadfastness and encouragement Grant you to live in such harmony with one another, in, a, in accordance with Christ Jesus, that, that together you may be one voice. Glory to God, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And the blessing of God, Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, remain with you always. Amen. So, now we can greet them again. Brother, husband and wife, David and Betty.
Uh, I know we are in a difficult situation, but sometimes we can put our situation aside and then we will pick later when we are going back home. So for now, put our, let us put our situation aside. It is a great day, a great day for all of us. We are so happy uh, to see one of us uh, 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 professing this morning that they will be together during the difficult, difficult time and good time and all that. So very, very good. So uh, for those who might not know me, my name is Onek Ruot. I'm going to be MC of tonight. I also have my uh, co-MC uh, called Evia. She will also be here assisting me. I again say welcome, welcome, and welcome. Um, our basic uh, rules here, uh, be respectful to one another, uh, respect the environment we are in, uh, res let us respect ourselves so that we can all enjoy together in harmony and in peace. Thank you very much. With these few remarks, we are going to welcome David and the team.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We are going to have another song. A little bit you round up and then David and the team will go up. Thank you. I told you it is going to be massive tonight. This is just the beginning. More still coming. Uh, the group that just came here, it is from the family of David. Uh, small clan is called Bura. And uh, uh, these are relatives to David Otto, where uh, I mean, the, the South clan that he comes from. So we are going to see a family of Betty Hakamu with the team coming to perform. They are training their daughter in a special way to tell it and the team to receive. So let us stay tuned. We will we, we'll wait for the ladies uh, to take seats and then we we'll go from there. 
As I told you, we are just starting. Do you have people here? Very quiet. Do you have people here? Okay. Say, oh yeah! Yes, I can hear that we have people here now. Oh, 
let's come back and get seated. We are starting now. Uh, that is uh, from Panikwara uh, clan, where Betty originated from. So David uh, came from a village called Pajok, and Betty from Panikwara in South Sudan. So can we give them a round of applause, please? If you observe carefully, they did not dance only one style, almost three styles here. Some of you might have seen, thinking that they did the same. No, it was all different. I mean, they presented in a different style. Particularly the last one they went with outside, it is called a TV, a very critical. It's just like kicking the floor, but you kick it style, diplomatically. That's what they did. Uh, so, so what they were showing here to tell me uh, that they have more beautiful girls in their community. So they are showing to another side and we have more. If you pick one, see more of them. Look at them. If you go see, look there, they look beautiful. Thank you very much. Let's see them. So, uh, now, we are going to begin the program in a very official way because we have uh, the guests here already seated. So you can even see me, I've started behaving properly. Before, when they were not here, I was behaving anyhow. But now they are, they are already sitting there. I need now to change my tune and behave properly. So, brothers and sisters, I am so grateful to be given this opportunity to be the MC of this function. Uh, this day, we waited for it for a while, but it has now uh, become, uh, it has become a reality. I know David and Betty sat down and they made a decision that they confess this morning uh, that they want to be together for the rest of their life. And that is the reason why we are here to celebrate with them. We value marriage. We value marriage. That's why you can see everyone here is happy. So, I, as I said, I'm the MC, and up Evia, a young lady somewhere, she's going to assist me. For those who this, if this is the first time for you to come here, we have ladies on the other side. If you want to go for uh, uh, biological needs, we have ladies that side, and gents on this side. And if you have any question you want to ask, anything, please feel free, ask me, or any one of us, we will be able to assist you. So, we are going to start by a word of prayer. I know we prayed in the church, but wherever we are, we need to welcome the Spirit of God to come and guide us. Uh, this is very important in our community uh, and for all of us at the same time. So I would like to request uh, Christine Daniel to come and pray for us, and if possible, also to bless the food uh, which I can see already on the table. And then we will continue uh, celebrating. Can we welcome Christine, please? Thank you. Let us stand up just in respect to our Lord. We're going to pray, and then we have two songs that we need to praise the Lord with. And I'm so glad for all our beautiful faces. So let us bow our head down and pray. Our loving Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come to you with thanksgiving, Lord. There is none like you. Thank you for this day, that the day you have ordained and you have made. We pray that, Lord, your Holy Spirit 
May fill this place with peace and joy, peace that surpasses all understanding. We pray that your angels may encamp around this place from any harm, anything that does not glorify you, God. We want to stand against it and break them out of this place in the name of Jesus Christ. May your blood cover us, Lord. May this joy continue until the very end of the program. Thank you for everyone and thank you for this food that is being uh, put before us that as we partake, we may enjoy and so that our body may be healthy. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. We got two songs to sing. I would like us to remain standing. Yeah. 
Okay, okay guys, see you later. Thank, thank you very much. much. Thank you for the life of David and Betty. We ask you to bless them in their marriage. Give them long life together, Lord Jesus. And bless the kids. And I ask you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Final blessing. Uh, food is almost ready. I can smell already something uh, good there. Uh, however, they're still bringing more so that it will be enough for every one of us. Uh, in order to economize time, uh, I would like to request uh, Daniel uh, Watson to come and speak uh, on behalf of uh, David Otto and the family of Bura community. So, according to our program, this was to come after uh, meal, but we thought we can uh, economize time by having Daniel to say one or two. Daniel, you're welcome. Thank you. Man, can I take a winner? At our mayor chair, Lamero Dog of Port Bolo Banga, Pinna Martini. First and foremost, I'd like to register my sincere thanks to God for today. Give me a much later, the Parama Pino Dagana Copadano. Such things are not coming in our life forever. She don't call Pino Mono, what put Motima Pork and what Jorene, Miruana, what Dog of Port Bolo Banga. When it has come during our lifetime like this, we need to thank God very much. I know this uh, arrangement so, or program had a lot of temptations. When surprisingly we learned that there was a lockdown yes, from yesterday, there were a lot of questions whether this thing was going to go ahead or not. Because of God's grace, even if we have a very strong, I mean, stringent rules, they still allow us to come like this today. My biggest appreciation goes to Charles Langoya. For having given their daughter to us in a holy uh, matrimony. Man me or better get a twin family sario and a penwangene chicken my journal chicken pegin my yacht. This will give us confidence, the family, the vow that these people made is not an easy thing to do. Kadipe Yamameko being my nomine chamokene parabara yenge and to come yad mochi when you know it here. Even if the the wind comes blowing the leaves and all that, the branches, but the root will will, will be there. This will give us hope as the community that, that I mean in life of these people. I would like also to register my appreciation to Charles Okulu. Can you wave wherever you are? For the good work you have done from the beginning to the end. For such things, a big event like this to prosper, there must be some people who will offer themselves. I will give uh, my deepest appreciation to Charles for offering himself to do this uh, particular task. I would like also to say a big thank you to Madam uh, Margaret Ayambo, who is the uh, women leader of our community for sacrificing herself for this occasion. 
Pocho men mokene chiro por family me pancho kama mino me arame o toa agie. I would like also to say to say a big thank you to Panto community where Oto David Mams come from. For having sacrificed yourself to make sure this occasion has gone successfully. Thank you very much, Panto community. I would like also to say a big thank you to my community, Bura community. Uh, thank you very much for all that you have done. As I said earlier on, this occasion is very important. I know the world that we are living in, family lives are being shaken. Few months ago, I read some researches about things related to family. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I do it is saying people who are like 50 years old, majority are maybe in, in, in their second marriages. I don't know if I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say you, you can imagine out of other like marriages, like eighty percent, they are not actually happy in their marriages. They are like searching for love or stability in their marriages. So when you are in such a family, fifty years old, and you are not happy in your marriage, it is just like you are clean from outside. Inside rotten. Sometimes people will say, ah, let us stay in this marriage because we have kids. You know, such thing, staying because of kids, got pains in different, I'm about to ways. So sometimes a woman or man will stay together because of kids. And then at the end of the day, if these kids uh, fail to grow in a good way, then there will be another regret. Even if you regret or you cry too late. One more so what I'm saying might sound very offensive, but I'm just saying you are not alone if you're in that category. Even if uh, if uh, you find that your head is like becoming imbalanced in your marriage, you are not alone. There are other people also experiencing the same. Bad thing can happen, but good thing can also happen. What our brother David has done today is really very good. It brought all of us together. It gave us, he gave, he gave us a lot of courage to go forward. It means that if you are here among us here, I've seen this example, and you want to go forward, please take also the, I mean, the step. But, but take it slowly. So when you, when you want to get to that level of David and Betty, make sure 
you are prepared for it fully it, it is not about money that you will spend uh, for the marriage but the, the, the life experience that you will go through you need to get prepared for it I think I felt this is very important for us as community and all of us to learn uh, from it. I'm not going to prolong it. If you are coming from the family uh, which is stable, pray. Praise God. If you have seen that, if you are, your relationship of family is stable and for others are not, um, be mindful of your tongue. Do not, do not point fingers on them. Do not point fingers on them. Because you don't know what will happen ahead. We, we don't know what will happen in the future. Because you might be good today and, uh, and uh, you might be bad tomorrow. So you don't know. So I want to challenge you to come together and encourage ourselves as we have done today. I was asked to speak for only five minutes. I'm not sure whether I have surpassed that or maybe below that. I don't know if I have surpassed that or maybe below that. I don't know if I have surpassed that or maybe I know I've spoken a lot. Some might be good. If you find anything good, take it with you. May God bless you. Thank you very much.